हेलो दोस्तों लेट्स स्टार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू स्ट्रोक इंजन एंड फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन सो हियर यू कैन सी द टू स्ट्रोक साइकिल एंड दिस इज फोर स्ट्रोक साइकिल सो व्हेन वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टू स्ट्रोक साइकिल यू कैन सी हियर द रोटेशन ऑफ दिस क्रैंक और बेसिकली दिस पिस्टन अप एंड डाउन सो दे आर देर आर बेसिकली यू नो प्रोसेस लाइक suction when the when piston comes down that is a suction so that fuel that mixture of fuel and air comes inside the cylinder then it is a compression then the third is power stroke and that is exhaust so to complete this four process this for this two stroke cycle there is required only one rotation for to complete one cycle but here in the four stroke cycle you can see to complete all these processes like as i said suction compression power stroke and exhaust it takes two rotation to complete one cycle so that is the first important difference between two stroke cycle and four stroke cycle so here you know Two stroke cycle you can see it is a up stroke means when you know this piston is coming upper side and at the end of you know compression here you can see the ignition takes place and at the downside when it is coming so in the in the up stroke itself there was a suction and compression complete and at the end of compression combustion takes place and in the next down stroke when a piston is coming so the power stroke that is a power gets and the exhaust also taking place but if you see here in a four stroke cycle so in the first half rotation the suction process means this piston coming down and you can see here it is a intake valve that is open and air fuel mixture taking place in the next steps piston goes up so that is a compression process and both walls are closed inlet and exhaust both are closed and the compression process takes place it means at the compression pressure will increase obviously temperature also increase because pressure is directly proportional to temperature and volume goes on reduces so at the end of you know compression here is combustion means that spark takes place and combustion starts and that's why power we will get and that power that is called power stroke and the piston comes down and in the the end of means in the second rotation of at the end there is exhaust that is piston goes up and this exhaust will open and exhaust gases takes out less so i i hope you may understand the working of both two stroke cycle four stroke cycle and the main difference you can see here it is clearly mentioned the first point that this uh, two stroke cycle it consists one cycle with one rotation the four stroke engine it consists one cycle means to complete that one cycle it takes two rotation then the next difference is you know what if you see the proper difference in a four <coughs> in this four stroke engine there are inlet and exhaust valves here you can see this is inlet and this is exhaust valve so these are replaced by three different ports and what are those in two stroke so that is transport port exhaust port and intake port so this in the four stroke cycle what is we have inlet valve and exhaust valve that is replaced by three ports that is inlet exhaust and transport port in a two stroke cycle in the next differences 
you know what in the four stroke engine the lubrication and the fueling must take place separately but in a two stroke there is a you know combination and that's why most of the time lubrication oil also takes you know in the uh, process of combustion and that is why there is a friction loss takes place in a two stroke engine so that is why the power available from the two stroke engine is a 70% of the calculator power and in four stroke engine it is a 90% of the calculator power then in the next differences in the two stroke engine what is the there you know uh, disadvantage is at the transport port as i said in two stroke there are three ports intake transport and exhaust so during the transport port and the exhaust port they open at the same time and that's why fresh air fuel mixture will be escaped out of the engine cylinder due to which there is a loss of fuel and there is another disadvantage for a single cylinder engine the size of flywheel is bigger than four stroke engine so due to that this two stroke is replaced by four stroke engine because of what because for a single cylinder you have to put a bigger flywheel and that is why two strokes are replaced by four stroke and obviously at the end the most important thing the overall efficiency what you got in the four stroke engine is higher than this two stroke engine so this is what the differences between two stroke cycle four stroke cycle their working principle and i think this is at the basic level it is sufficient to know one